This is the third video in a three-part series demonstrating how to automate processes such as PD request confirmations using a combination of Google Forms, Google Sheets, and Google Sheets add-ons. In this video, we will demonstrate how to automate the PD request confirmations with Google Sheets and the Auto and the Google Sheets add-on AutoCrap. So now, let's head on over to Google Docs. So here I am in my Google document, and what I did, I made a little template, and basically once the mail merge happens, the mail merge will pull from this template, and it will look at all of these little merge tags, and it will merge data from the spreadsheet into this tag based on where I tell it to go. So I just made, I made three separate templates. We have a template that a teacher will get if they need a purchase order to attend an event, another template an applicant will get if they don't need a purchase order, and a third template they'll get if they're using credits with our um, local co-op. So I went ahead and I put in all the fields and all the merge tags. When I'm putting in my merge tags, it's important to keep in mind that we have the word or words that are the merge tag wrapped in these what they call double carrots. If you don't put the double carrots around your merge tags, Autocrat won't recognize it and that um, data won't get merged. So in this case, if we only had one arrow there, Autocrat wouldn't recognize this and the applicant's first name would not show up on their confirmation form. So we're going to just put that back. Now that we've set up the template for our mail merge documents, we need to head on over to Google Sheets and set up our Autocrat mail merge so that Google Form data can populate in all of those merge fields. If you don't already have the Google Sheets add-on Autocrat, you'll need to add it to your Google Sheets. Do that by clicking Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and then just search for Autocrat and add it to your Google Sheet. So we're going to go ahead and open up Autocrat. Once Autocrat opens up, we'll go ahead and click New Job. And then you're going to name your merge job. Make sure that when you name your mail merge, you're as specific as you can be. Because if you have to go in and edit it or review it later, you'll need to make sure you know which one you're editing. And in this case, I went ahead and just um, put PO at the end of this one. Because if a teacher gets this request, that means they need a purchase order to register for their event. We'll go and click Next. So now you can choose whether to use a template from Google Drive or to create your own example template. We're going to go ahead and click From Drive to select the template that we just made. One thing that I really like about Autocrat is that it will pull your most recently modified docs. So that template's right over the top. Once you see the template name, we'll go ahead and hit next again. Before I can merge all of the spreadsheet data to the template, we first have to take a look at this gray box and make sure that the tab of the spreadsheet that's listed here is the same tab of the spreadsheet that has the data we would like to merge. Next, we look at the header row to make sure that the header row here is the same row of our spreadsheet that has the headers that coordinate with the merge tags. Finally, We'll look at this first data row. That will be the first row of the spreadsheet that has data we would like to merge. Now let's take a look at the merge tags in our document. You see here this merge tag first, and let's take a look at where exactly that came from in our Google Doc. So we'll come back over here to our template, and we'll see that that is the first name merge tag. We know that when an applicant gets their confirmation, we want this first tag to be replaced with the applicant's first name. So heading back over to our spreadsheet, we have this first here, and we're going to map it to the column first name. So that when we're looking at the row, for example, row two, whatever is in the first name column will end up right here on the confirmation email. So I'm going to go ahead and find this one first. And then I'll come over to the map to column, and I'll go ahead and find the column that will map to that merge tag. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the other 32 merge tags in this document. Now that I've mapped all my merge tags, I'll go ahead and hit Next. 
and I'll go ahead and name the file. So what's going to happen is each individual PD request confirmation will spit out as a PDF file and we need to have a standard naming convention. So we're going to go ahead and hit this arrow over on the left and we'll go ahead and name these by last name. And so go to copy this merge tag, I'm just going to click it. I'll come over here and paste it. So it'll be named by the applicant's last name and first name. And again, to click when we come over here, I'll click first name and I'll copy to the clipboard. And I'll come over here and paste it. And then we'll have the name of the event. And I'll click and paste. Next thing, I'll ask us the type of document we want to create, and we're going to create a PDF. And you have two options to output as multiple documents or a single document. In this case, we want multiple documents because we want each individual PD request to be its own file. If you're doing something like creating a mail merge for timesheets at the end of a PD event, and you merge all that data together, you can go ahead and hit single document, and that way you'll only have to print out one file. But in this case, we need multiple documents. I'll hit next. I'm going to choose a destination folder. So now I'm just going to choose a folder in my Google Drive where these will all live. And then it's important to remember that anyone else in your district who needs access to these will need to go ahead and have that folder shared with them as well. And I didn't make a folder, so we'll just go ahead and say this one right here and select. And I'll hit next. And a dynamic folder reference would be an additional folder we're going to put it in, but we're going to skip this and hit next. Next, we're going to set the merge condition. That means a row of this spreadsheet will only merge through Autocrat if the column we select equals whatever we put right here. Keep in mind that for this particular form that we're making, one form will get filled out about five times before it has been confirmed. So we don't want this to merge every single time someone submits it. We only want this merge to take place if the column what is the purchase order number equals not null. So that means someone would have had to go in and answer the question what is the purchase order number and actually type something in there. When that happens this merge will run and then that particular email template will get sent out to whoever we specify. So we'll hit next. Share doc, we're going to say yes. We're going to share it as a PDF. And now we'll just draft an email. We'll use the same method as earlier to copy merge tags for an email address. I'll hit this arrow on the left, find applicant email address, click applicant email address, which will copy it. And I'll go ahead and paste. And then we'll carbon copy people like the building principal and anyone else in your district who needs to get that confirmation. Then we'll type out a little message. Again, we can use the merge tags as needed. In the email, I'll usually customize this to have the subject as their name and the name of the event. And I'll have a custom message here. But in this case, I just made it kind of general. And then we'll hit next. And now we have to decide whether we want Autocrat to run on a form trigger or run on a time trigger. In this case, we want it to run on a form trigger, meaning it will look for the merge conditions every time a new form is submitted. So we'll click yes and click save. And then when we're all finished, we'll see this existing job right here. If we hover over it, we can run the merge, edit the merge, get information or delete it. And here we see that we can email and see that it runs on a form trigger. This has been a brief demonstration on how to automate PD request confirmations with Google Sheets and Autocrat.